Welcome to the Origin Summer Preview with the Dice Tower. In this series, we look at recently released and upcoming games for summer 2014. And now, recorded live at Origins 2014, here's your host, Ryan Metzler. Hey everybody, I'm Ryan Metzler, and today I'm here with Ian Brody of Griggling Games, and we're going to talk about Santa's Bag, uh, which is clearly a Christmas release uh, from the theme, but how about you tell us a little bit about the game? Sure, um, this is a game for the whole family, seven and up. Um, my daughter, who's seven, can read the rules. The game is, uh, while it's simple to play, it can be played just by adults because there's enough um, interplay and complexity that it's interesting that way. Um, the game consists of basically you build toys okay. for good girls and boys and bad girls and boys. Oh, well, but no. they're not supposed to get toys. No, no, everybody gets something. Well, but that's, the that's elf, awfully generous of you. Right. Yes, <laughs> as an elf, you'll get more points for trickier toys and okay. more points for nicer kids. Ah, well. So you can see um, Freya, which happens to be my daughter's name, is a three. Very good. <laughs> Abigail, who we know no Abigails, is a one. Okay. The art is by um, Travis Hansen, who you may have heard of as a uh, comic book illustrator. Okay. And essentially, um, on your turn, you have a chance to trade a part with other players. Then you have a then you can build a toy if you have the parts, and then you draw a card. Okay. And um, a short game is 10 toys, and a long game is 20 toys. The game, this is a prototype, so you know that it's going to kind of, the color's going to notch up. There will be card backs Obviously, later. Obviously, yes. And, um... So, on your turn, you're going to, as you said, trade, and now players obviously have to accept the trade from you, correct? You have to decide whether or not they want what you have and whether or not you have something they want. Right, right. Um, it's, amongst adults, the trading is pretty um, rapid, although in the rules it's very spelled out, so that way a seven-year-old can really follow it. Sure. But you essentially show people and announce what you want to trade, you tell them what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and then you go around the table, and if anyone wants to do it, you do it. And otherwise, and if nobody wants to trade, you can actually take the top card of the draw deck and then look at your hand and then discard. So you get to do something okay, in your Okay, so you turn. can always at least cycle a part if exactly, you need to. Exactly, exactly. Now, once you have the parts, you build the toy. Now, how do you decide which kid is going to get what toy? Well, you draw, basically draw out two. Okay. There's always four on the board. So here we have Joseph who wants a toy piano. Okay, so Joseph wants this toy piano, and if you make it for him, you're going to get some amount of points. You're right, He's five kind points, of a middle, right? middle range exactly. kid. So you're going to get a decent amount of points for him. But if you can make the piggy bank for Freya, the piggy bank's not worth quite as many points, but she's worth a few more points. That's so it's right. kind of a balance between finding the right kid with the right toy to get the most points. Right. All right. Well, sounds very interesting. What's the dial for you? Is this just kind of a... We found that for kids, sometimes they had a hard time remembering how many toys would be made amongst all the players. So when you make a toy, you just notch this up. This is uh, not the final dial. Um, but uh, essentially, then you get to 10, and it says end short game. Oh, okay. And you, it's really just something... It's a game just, round tracker yeah, to keep track exactly. of how long we've been playing. Well, that's always a nice thing to have, because getting up to 20, you can kind of lose track of rounds as the game goes on. I think it's a good yeah. way to keep track of the game. Well, thank you very much. As, as we said, this one's going to be coming around Christmas, mm -hmm. so a little bit of a little bit ways out, but uh, some time to check it out, hear a little bit more about the game, uh, and hopefully get it out to distribution and in people's hands for the holidays. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you for stopping by and showing us the game. Okay, thank you. All right, have a great day. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us for the rest of our summer preview videos. We'd like to thank Gamma and Origins for making these videos possible. And we hope that all of you have fun gaming. See you next time.